everyone, it's me, Jen, from I'm Just Like You, and today I have my June favorites for you guys. Most of the items for this month that I have really been loving are a lot of skincare and um, face foundation powder type of products. And the reason being is I've been trying to find a new summer face routine for myself, something that's going to be more dewy and glowy and works great for the summer, and I've definitely found it, so I wanted to share it with you. So let's start out with some of those face products. Um, my ultimate favorite product of the whole entire, probably, favorites video is this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Foundation primers are really important to me for the summertime just because I want my foundation to last longer as well as prevent my face from getting really oily. Um, I find that a lot of times in the summertime it's super hot outside so I am sweating and my foundation starts to separate and cause creases and it settles into my lines and it isn't very flattering. So what I like is to use a primer to prevent it from doing that, but at the same time, I wanted to hydrate my skin. Um, that's what makes this primer different from other primers. I find that other primers, they want to mattify your face, so what it does is that it really dries out your skin, and at the end of the day, I find like my skin is kind of patchy, and it just doesn't look flattering. But this one, it is very hydrating, and I just really love it. I love the fact that it is really great for photos as well. It makes my skin look very beautiful and um, makes the texture and everything just blend in so it looks like my skin is airbrushed. So I absolutely love this one. This one is different from the clear one. This one's the light oil free one and um, I really love it and I haven't broken out with it so definitely great for those who have sensitive skin. Um, sometimes you know wearing a full face of foundation isn't um, ideal for the summertime especially if you're going to just be out and about and you're not really um, wanting to have a full coverage. A really great tinted moisturizer is needed but of course you can just always use your moisturizer and mix it with your foundation and get a tinted moisturizer. But I just like um, the convenience of having it in one tube and easy to carry around. So I've been really loving this Radiant Tinted Moisturizer by Sonia Kashuk. It's available at Target and the reason why I like it is because it has color ranges that are very yellow based which I thought it was so hard to find just because a lot of tinted moisturizer for some reason with the combination of the moisture in it, it causes to oxidize and become a very orange tint. This one doesn't and I have to say at first it really moisturizes your face and then after it kind of settles in your face, it really mattifies it and gives it a very natural look. I've been really loving this and I didn't break out so definitely recommend this to whoever that wants to find a great tinted moisturizer at the drugstore. So speaking of the drugstore and foundation, I have found the perfect foundation for the summertime for me and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, if you guys want to see a more in-depth review as well as like a demo of how I apply it, then please comment below, let me know and I will definitely do a review for you if you want that. And it is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup and this is a um, really, really great foundation. I usually am not a person that loves foundation with any dewiness just because I think a lot of foundation get that concept wrong. Like it doesn't look dewy, it just looks oily and then it settles into like my lines, especially around my parentheses and this one definitely does not do that. It's a really beautiful foundation. I think it's up there with like high-end quality foundations like Chanel and uh, Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. I absolutely love this foundation and I think it's a great one for the summer and even for the winter if you like that dewiness you want to bring back some moisture back into your skin and you don't want to look so dry and dull this is definitely the foundation that's going to do that um, I'm wearing it right now and I just think that it is a beautiful beautiful foundation I am in the number NC30 to 35 in MAC foundations and this one I am in natural base and it matches me perfectly. Um, very affordable, lasts a long time and I just love the effect that it gives my skin. It looks like I have like a facial or like I've really conditioned my face with a really nice mask or some type of like new skincare but really it's just a foundation so that is definitely what I look for in a foundation. I want my skin to look 
beautiful if I have foundation. I don't want a foundation just to cover up imperfections, but I want it to make my skin look perfect. So this next foundation I wanted to share with you is not a foundation that is new to me. I always reach for this one whenever I know that I need to take a lot of photos or whenever I do um, bridal makeup, um, photo shoot makeups, I always reach for this one on my clients and it is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I love this one because it looks really nice in photos. Um, it doesn't give you any type of white cast that causes your face to look lighter than the rest of your body and it lasts a very long time which is important especially for a special event. Um, so definitely love this foundation. Again I am an NC30 to 35 in MAC and this one I am in a N123. Love this foundation. I think there's a wide range of colors for everyone. So, moving on to some other products. Um, I have really been loving the, the NARS eyeshadow primer. The reason why I love this one is because it really really helps all eyeshadow last all day. What makes it different from the Urban um, Decay as well as um, all the other primers is the fact that it actually helps with creasing. My mom has really hooded eyes and she has a lot of um, lines so a lot of eyeshadow that are shimmery are not going to look great on her but with this foundation I find that it really fills in the lines and gives a really great canvas for the eyeshadow to lay on as well as the fact that my mom's eyes have a lot of wrinkles so what happens is a lot of the concealer and um, eyeshadow is going to settle into those lines but I find that when I use this primer it really prevents any of the uh, concealer or powder to go into her lines so I definitely recommend this for mature women as well as those who have really oily um, lids because this really helps as well as if you find that at the end of the day a lot of your makeup transfer to the bottom because you talk, you smile and it just causes this like raccoon eye look this is also going to help it prevent and creating that raccoon look so really love this and I absolutely love the packaging it's very luxurious and um, it actually comes in like a stick form like this so it is very easy to apply it onto the lids as well as it's much more sanitary than to just use your fingers. So definitely love that product. Alright, so moving on um, to another face product and it's also from Makeup Forever and it is the Professional Pro Finish Powder. This is a foundation powder so it is a more full coverage compared to a regular powder. And what I like to do is use this all by itself. It's very buttery, um, much more affordable than my uh, Burberry one. But this one I like it a little bit better than the Burberry one just because the color matches me a lot better. It has great yellow undertones and warm undertones that doesn't make your skin look too orange, too pink, or too gray. It's a perfect color. Um, the only thing that I would have to say that isn't as great with this product is that it has a lot of fallout, meaning when you're using your brush to really get it onto the brush, there is a lot of um, powder dust that will get all over the packaging. So that part I don't like, but the, the fact that it is that loose, you can kind of tell that it is going to really melt into your skin beautifully. So um, I guess you have to pay a little bit of messiness for a great finish on the face. So I'm okay with that. As you guys already know, I love a beautiful highlight. I love that look that Demi Lovato and um, JLo has all the time with that beautiful glow on the cheekbone. And I've already showed you my ultimate favorite, which is my Chanel one, which is this one right here. It's the Soleil de Tan Liquid um, Illuminate, Illuminating Fluid, but it is very expensive. So, I tried to find an um, alternative so I could share with you guys. So, I bought this and I've been really loving it. It is the Benefit Sunbeam. I absolutely love it just because it gives it the same effect, but also it's a very easy application um, product. It has like, a, like this brush at the end, just like a nail, like just like a nail polish would. So it's easy to apply. It doesn't get all over the place. I find that with my Chanel one, I have to kind of um, pour the product to the top and then use it from there. So I'm wasting a lot of the product. At the same time, I'm making a 
huge mess which causes the product to dry up so fast but because of this applicator and the price and everything I think this is going to be a great replacement for that Chanel one and I definitely recommend this to you guys I absolutely love it I love it for underneath my brows um, on my cheekbones down my nose it's just a really beautiful glow to the face for any time of the year all right so keep going okay before I show you the next two products I kind of want to just tell you a little bit about my skin so with my skin I have more of a darker skin tone compared to a lot of my family members and with anyone that has a little bit darker skin tones whenever you have a ant bite, you have a mosquito bite, you have an ingrown hair, some type of like lesion to your skin is going to cause a really dark pig pigmented scar. So I have a lot of them on my arms due to the little bumps that I have and I always scratch it which I've been really trying not to and I've left like a lot of scars as you can see right here. So I've been trying to find a lot of products that's going to lighten it. Yes, I have done a video on lightening scars with vitamin E capsules and yes, it did work for me but it's a lot harder for me to wear the oil on my arms when I am out working or um, just going out. So I've been really trying to find like some type of lotion or treatment. I've tried Mederma, I've tried Bio Oil a long time ago and it didn't really work well for me. I've been trying this new Ambi skincare and it's a even and clear targeted mark minimizer. It has vitamins A, C, and E. And I've been trying it and I've noticed a little bit of a lightening effect, but um, I will get back to you guys on this. And another product that I've actually have seen results on is this cocoa butter formula by Palmer's. And it has vitamin E. Again, vitamin E is going to lighten the skin, um, any dark pigmentations. Uh, this one, the reason why I wanted to share with you is that I've used this since I was in high school. And I've had marks like this before. Um, and it definitely lightened it and made it go away. So I try to apply this about two to three times a day. And what I like about this formula is the fact that it doesn't smell like cocoa butter. There is an option for a fragrance free and I don't like the smell of cocoa butter so I was so happy to find this. So definitely check this out. It's available at Walmart for a really affordable price. So if you have any like scars from chicken pox or acne scars on your body, I definitely recommend this product to lighten it and just to really make it um, blend well into the rest of your skin tone. If there isn't any bleaching products, it's all natural um, lightening products such as vitamin E. Alright, and so the last product I wanted to share with you guys is my MAC brush cleaner. I've mentioned this in one of my videos before, and this is actually a pink liquid. Um, you can't really see it because it's running out. I absolutely love this product because it's a great spot cleaner. What a spot cleaner is, is that whenever you're using your brushes and you want to change colors, such as this blush brush, and you want to change like a different blush color or you've used your eyeshadow brushes and you want to use it again and you don't have time to bust out the olive oil and everything then you can just use your tissue paper apply some of the cleanser on there and then you just go like this to remove the color and it also cleans it so it prevents you from breaking out and everything. And see, look, it's so much lighter and it definitely cleans it all out. So I love it just because I'm always busy and I am a clean freak. So I want my brushes to be clean when I apply it, when I use it on my face, but then I don't have the time to like deep clean it. So definitely this is a product that I recommend. Um, another reason why I love it is the fact that it dries super duper fast so you can use it right away. You don't have to do it the night before or um, anything. You can do it right away and then about five minutes later it's super dry and you can use it on your face. I haven't experienced any breakouts with it and I've been using it for years and I love it. So definitely recommend it. And that is all that I have for you guys for this month. Not that much, but a lot of new products. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you want to see more reviews and more favorite videos from me, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!